What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. Welcome back to my next episode of the United States of Joe Winko. So we're going to be making our next city, and I'm going to be announcing the winner of last episode's trivia question. So last episode's trivia question for Panama City, Florida was how did Joe Winko die in Joe Winko's 2010 Sims 2 slasher film, World's Most Deadliest Trick? And that was answered correctly by, uh, well, he wants me to use the name Romeo, so, yeah, um, the answer was I got sawed in half by the evil magician guy, and, um, that was correct. So now, Romeo is going to be the mayor of my next city, and that's going to be right here, and that will be Jacksonville, Florida. Which is actually the eastern end of Interstate 10. But there's still a lot more um, in Interstate 10 that I need to add. Jacksonville is supposed to have a river running through it. Uh, this is close enough. So we're going to add a whole bunch of trees. Oh yeah, also just letting you guys know, I have like, um, I was up all night and uh, I have this uh, doctor's appointment today, so during this video, my adoptive parents might be calling me, and I might have to answer the call, so yeah, just a heads up for when that comes up. <laughs> and whatever, you guys get to see my real life. Well, you guys kind of already do get to see my real life all the time, especially this year, since my videos have gotten more personal. And you even get to hear, got to hear some of my political views while pl while playing this game because I tend to ramble a lot. Okay, and also I've been having this problem, um, like this flickering problem with the graphics. Um, you'll you'll probably see it, but it gets on my nerves. Um, so. All right, so Jacksonville and the mayor. Let me double check how to spell the name. Romy. Oh, it's Romeo Mo. That's how it act. That's how it's actually pronounced. <laughs> okay, sorry if I seem a bit out of it, I just, um, I don't know, I was up all night again. My sleeping schedule is messed up. It's hard to sleep with diabetes, really. Because it goofs up everything. Eh, whatever, let's get building the interstates. Okay, so a bridge. Yeah, I know, I need to expand more stuff. Chill. Those pop ups are annoying. Okay, so that's the end of that highway, Interstate 10, so I'm going to turn this into an avenue. That'll come in handy. But there's more I need to add. I think I-95 cuts up through here. Let me see. 
Well, actually, I-75 and I-95. Well, actually, I don't think I-75 goes through, through Jackson Jacksonville, but this area is larger than uh, Jacksonville really is, so... Never been to Jacksonville, Florida, but always wanted to visit. It's like where Florida begins. The name of it even sounds badass, like Jacksonville, Florida. Every time I hear that, I think of Michael Jackson walking around Vice City singing Beat It. <laughs> oh, that just shows you how weird my mind is. Alright, so this will be I-95. Oh, damn it! Okay, I can't build an intersection? What the hell? Oh, you stupid game. Oh, there's not enough space. Oh, wait, yeah, because it converts to, uh... God damn it. This game makes me mad. Alright, I'll just tear this all down. Yeah, I finally figured out you don't have to tear, like, every square down individually. You can just drag the thing across. Oh, gosh. I have so much to learn. Wait, how am I out of money? Okay, let me add the money trees. I forgot about those. Okay, got that. Alright, let me take out a loan. Oh, I can't take out a loan. Damn it. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to type the cheats in. Alright, is it Control shift x or Control x Okay. Weakness pays... I'll just copy and paste that a couple times. Alright, looks like we have enough to finish it. The money trees finally started kicking in. Okay, so looking good. <laughs> so, let me add in the highway signs. As I said earlier, I have those highway signs rigged, so, um, so, like, it attracts the Sims to live there by them, because they're viewed as landmarks, so I-95, let me just place these all along the path, I-95. Okay, got it. Uh, next is Interstate 10.
Okay, I just like swarmed this whole area with Interstate 10 signs. That's like, gosh, so many. Well, it doesn't matter. There's already like three highways running through this place, so there should be. Now, where's the I-75 signs? I know I made those too. Holy crap, did I make them? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, wait, why are this... Why the fuck is it showing up as a Florida sign? Oh, man. God, now I have to make that all over again. I'll go back and edit... I'll go back and edit it later. I hate it when the game glitches up like that. Okay, so I have actually built some cities, like, off the record, just so you guys know. I did not mean to add that. Like, there's one, um, I made one city called Flagler Beach, which is, like, a small city. It has a lot of space, but most of it's water and uninhabitable. But, um, yeah, whatever. Just reminding you. Let me add some roads going north. So, yeah, got that. Now I have to figure out the taxes and the city audiences and all that stuff. Spike up dirty industry. Because I don't want any dirty industrial areas in my cities. Lower high tech. What time is it right now? Okay, 6.52. Um, lower low wealth residential, because I want the poor people to live in the cities, because they're more prone to taking the buses. Alright, that's good enough. Let me build another avenue. Okay, so, now since we got that out of the way, we might as well add some bus stops, like one here. And public parking garage. And a wind turbine. So I actually made some really cool stuff for this game. Um, 
There's more stuff I have to do, I forgot about that. Let me just spike these up a bit. Mass Transit, Health and Education, let me spike those up. Public Safety. City Ordinances, Legalized Gambling, and bring all these up. And uh, health and education, city ordinances, city obediences. Okay, I got that done. Ugh, now for the next task. The dreaded landfill zones. Now yeah, you gotta have them somewhere. couple recycling centers. I'm just going to add two of them just for the hell of it since I have so much damn space on this map. And water towers. Let me save this game since it's notorious for crashing on me even though I barely have anything built yet. Um... Now, I guess I can add the... No, I need to add the necessities. Elementary school here. High school here. A library here. Large police station. Large fire station. Large medical center. Uh, is that... Okay, let me add a road. Alright, there's more stuff I should add. As I was saying, I should add the... The landmarks that I worked so hard on, like this Jacksonville Tower, um, which is going to go right here. Should have added all those to the... I just remember all those necessity things I added. I should have added those to... Um, I should have added those over here instead. Well, it doesn't matter. There's more landmarks I want to add, like the Joe Winko statue I made. I'll put that right here. See? Check that out. Jacksonville, Florida, and that's me riding a horse. <laughs> yeah. My, uh, modding skills have improved. I never knew I would even have end up having modding skills, but now I do. Yeah, I added the horse because I wanted another statue of myself in the game. I plan on adding more. I already have one in the Joe Winko City Capital that I showed you guys in the first episode. I, I still need to update that city. I've been so busy building my other cities. Large medical center. High school. Elementary school. Large police station. Let me make sure they're all paid. Alright, gonna have to...
Yeah, I want the elementary schools to be good. Um, so what else should I throw in? Oh yeah, I forgot almost forgot. Um large fire station. And some wind turbines so they have power. There's no one living here yet. Water pumps. Yeah, just gonna like fill up this whole area. And I'm gonna add another water pump. Okay, so they're building it up. Awesome. Okay, so let me add some beaches also. I actually was gonna f go to the beach today and film a video, but I forgot to. The, the reason why I can't just go is because I wanted it to be like during a sunset. I mean a sunrise and everything. But I forgot about that and I was kind of mad. It's also supposed to go with a video I was going to do for YouTube. I mean, an episode of Joe Winko Talk I was going to have myself do that I forgot about. Um, you know that song, Domino Dancing by the Pet Shop Boys? <laughs> I wanted to do a review for that. I love the Pet Shop Boys. I love their song, Domino Dancing, too. And I like the music video, too. Alright, our population's at 1,000 right now.
Oh yeah, um, by the way, um, there's another thing I... I wanted to show you guys. It's this, um... Hold on one second. So, um, if any of you watch The Walking Dead, um, you would know that the character Sasha, she and uh, her brother Tyrese, they're actually from, uh, those characters were actually from Jacksonville, Florida. Like, uh, not the actors, but, like, uh, the, those characters specifically. So, I made a custom sign for Jacksonville, Florida. So, let me show it to you. See? Welcome to Jacksonville, where Florida begins. There's Sasha right there. And there's Tyrese. I just pasted a picture of them on the texture and uh, colorized them, so... <laughs> I was wondering what you guys thought of that. Yeah, Jacksonville will have a lot of cool stuff in this game. Even cooler... Even cooler stuff than, um... Even cooler stuff than, uh, the Orlando in this game will have. Well, actually, I was gonna call it Disney World. I need to build Cinderella's castle, however. I haven't really figured out how to do that. Well, I well I, I do know how I would, but I was just been too lazy to. Because it takes a long time. <laughs> just a bunch of cylinders and a bunch of cones, stack them all up together. I was going to uh, just download the castle instead. But I couldn't import it into SimCity 4 because the file was way too big because it had too many polygons. I was like, what the hell? Like, every time I tried uh, loading it up and building Architect, and building Architect, um, it would uh, crash whenever I tried rendering it. And uh, technology is brilliant, except when it doesn't work. Uh, but it happens. Oh well. Okay, we're at a population of 3,954. Mm, that's all due to the money trees, really. <laughs> that's basically how this whole town is I mean, that this whole region is run off of money trees. How's it doing over here? Oh, yeah. Forgot I was going to zone some residential areas. And I'm gonna have to zone some commercial areas too. Let me add in an extra water pump, just because I feel like it, even though I don't really need it at all. Okay, they want a large high school now. Uh, I'm actually going to put that over here instead. And not by the Welcome to Florida sign. Okay, right here.
Oh, and they want a statue and a large water pond. Okay. I'll add the statue in a bit. The one for the, of the mayor. Well, all the statues of the mayor look the same. Actually funner to do it to uh, zone the lot the the lots without like having it make the automate the automatic roads really. Let me make sure the pay in this high school is good. Okay, it is. Okay, we're at a population of ten thousand. City's growing fast. Well, it's Jacksonville. Of course, it's going to grow fast. All right, just built that small road for nothing. Let me tear it down. Sorry, I can't really think of anything interesting to say. Um, it seems like uh, I haven't really been noticing the flickering graphics problem I was having earlier. So that's a good thing. I, I hope I didn't jinx it by saying that. But <laughs> Like, I was up all night because my blood sugar was off and I couldn't sleep. Population of 10,000 and community, I mean, uh, commercial lots are in demand. I, I always say community lots instead of, commer instead of commercial. <laughs> Keep getting this mixed up with The Sims 2. Jeesh. I'm gonna add another bus stop over by here. Oh, and they want to add a city hall, sure. Let me add a police station near it. And probably another medical center, too, somewhere. Yeah, right here. And let's zone some more commercial lots. I 
I'm tired. Like, I took a five hour energy earlier, but I don't know why it's wearing off. I don't know why it feels like it's wearing off right now. Like, I have to go to the doctor's office to have some blood work done for some random stuff that would take too long to explain. Oh, um, eh, might as well. Um, the reason why, um, I have to get the blood work done is because I'm on prep right now. And, uh, they have to, like, draw my blood and check it every three months. I didn't know that, but that's what they do when you're on prep to make sure it's working. Well, actually, no, not to make sure it's working. To make sure you're not having, like, liver problems or kidney problems at all. <laughs> I hope I don't have that. But yeah, but they also check your HIV status too, which I'm also very adamant about. My results are always negative, as, like always, as you guys should know. <laughs> Not a pretty thing to have. No offense to anyone who has it, but it's a struggle. Just like diabetes isn't, isn't a pretty thing to have. Or, just like, autism isn't a pretty thing to have either. Well, that's definitely for sure, as you guys should know. Or ADHD, or bipolar disorder, or paranoid schizophrenia, which I never was officially diagnosed with, but the, um, they speculate that I might have it, but they're still unsure for some reason. They don't want to put me on anti-hallucination meds because they're they're worried that that might make it worse um i i never really like it, people with paranoid schizophrenia from what i've heard i could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong but they um they believe uh they believe that they have superpowers sometimes and uh <laughs> i don't really think i have superpowers as much as i would love to have them i unfortunately don't um, and also they get scared because they think people are following them or people are watching them. I'm actually the exact opposite. I think people aren't watching me at all, so I do all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> and most of the time they really aren't, either way. Which I'm kind of glad about, too. But sometimes I get sad about it, but I try to see the bright see the bright side of it. Ooh, and they want to add a university. Where the fuck should I put that? Oh, like here would be a good place. Yep, looking good. And let me add a, a large police station. You know how those universities can get. Especially with the hazing when they kill innocent people. I mean, when they kill their own roommates. Gosh. Well, they don't, like, literally murder their own roommates. Well, they, they might as well, kind of. I heard this one university news story that this one guy died because they these frat boys thought it would be funny to tie him up and, like, pour, like, um, myriad amounts of booze down his throat. How fucked up is that? That's why I'm so glad that I'm not like the normal people at all, really. That I never uh, was in any cliques or anything, or never went to like a college like that. I can't, I can't even do college. It's too stressful for me. But um, yeah, I guess it all pays off. I guess, kind of. Instead, here I am, playing SimCity 4, watching my days pass me. The days really do go by fast. I can't believe it's already been like 10 days since I've been back from Arkansas. That whole trip flew by. Arkansas was nice, by the way. It wouldn't be my, like, first choice of a place to live, but, um, it was still really nice. Well, I don't know how it's like in the winter, the places I went to. Like, I was near, um, this one town called Black Oak, 
it's like this really it's like i i didn't notice this at first but when i got there it was like really run down i think a tornado probably hit it and there were like signs saying rebuild black oak and everything well it wasn't signs it was like spray paint actually wonder what happened there I didn't ask any locals. I mean, I didn't talk to any locals. Um, there was this one, like, southerner guy who drove by me while he saw me walking around on the roads. And he asked me, oh, you're really tall. Do you play basketball? And I said, no, but back when I was in high school, I used to. And he asked me, oh, what high school did you go to? And I said, oh, uh, I'm from Wisconsin, so no place by here. I mean, I, I, I probably was being a little rude with that. I wasn't, like, talk, saying anything in a mean tone. It was just that he was a stranger who saw me walking by on the side of the street. Well, it was a stranger who brought me there, so why, why am I getting worried? I don't know. Yeah, that really doesn't make any sense now that I, th now that I think of it. <laughs> that, like, I was afraid of a guy, like, on the street, but, uh, I wasn't afraid of a random truck driver on Craigslist taking me across state lines. Well, my intention was to go to, well, this time at least, my intention was to go to Arkansas and then come back. Back in 2015, my intention was to go to Arkansas and never be heard from again. But I, the reason, people always tell me, um, Joe, I can't believe you did that, that's dangerous. The thing is, if you meet someone online, and if, like, you murder them, um, yeah, you're not gonna get away with that, because, uh, like, the way police can trace stuff nowadays, and track people down and everything, and say, oh, he went here, and oh, he went there, and the location of your cell phone pinging off of stuff, you can't get away- you cannot get away with murder in year 2017. Unless you're O.J. Simpson, but... <laughs> I would never- I would never go on a road trip with O.J. Simpson. Yeah, speaking of that, by the way, he was actually released from, uh... Well, he wasn't released, but, like, he got granted parole. And he could be out of, uh, jail by, uh... By October. And, uh, eh, I don't know. It is what it is. You know, it's, it's kind of another thing. I know I, like, kind of overly say this too much, but it also shows how fucked up the world is. You can, like, brutally butcher a woman and slice her tongue almost out of her throat and then stab her, her boyfriend to death and leave them bleeding to death and mangled in a parking, no, in their front yard, and, uh, get away with it right after a semi-epic, uh, chase scene on a California highway going 25 miles per hour. Ooh, they want to add a radio tower. Can you guys imagine if I had my own radio station? That'd be so weird. Well, in a way, I kind of do with YouTube. Okay, they want to add a fire station. You know, I remember back when I was a little kid, um, <laughs> I always would pretend like I had my own radio station. The reason why is, um, have any of you guys seen that 1980s horror movie called The Fog? This woman in the fog, in the movie The Fog, she had her own radio station, and I thought that look—I thought that looked so much fun. And I was like, "Oh, I want a radio station where I sit up in a huge lighthouse and talk to people. That'd be so much fun." Well, I wouldn't be talking to people. I would just be—I um, would just be sitting up there playing music and talking in a seductive. Well, that's what she was doing, talking in a seductive voice. I don't- I have no idea what I would be saying on a radio station- Oh, the same stupid shit I say- say during my SimCity 4 playthroughs. Oh, whatever. <laughs> but, you know, I think it's funner to be sitting down building large cities 
instead, while rambling about a bunch of trivial stuff, I mean, I, I wouldn't have it, I wouldn't want to have it any other way, even though none of these cities are real, um, oh, whatever, and asking trivia questions about my seven-year-old Sims 2 amateur slasher videos to get more people to watch them. Ha! See what I did there? That Jacksonville Tower sure looks pretty cool. Too bad I didn't make it. I just did the texture and everything. I downloaded that from SketchUp. Uh, I barely made the... this horse tower. I downloaded the horse on a Sims 2 website. And, um... I just animated and posed my Sims character over it. Oh yeah, there's actually a glitz with this. You can see the people there, but there's supposed to be palm trees here too. And they want to build a casino? Okay, sure. But what the hell do I expect? I made gambling legal. I just get annoyed when the Sims ask for stuff, really. Well, I shouldn't be. They're living in my city and inhabiting it. I should be happy with all of them. I feel like building another avenue here. And a bridge going across here. All right, that's looking good. Oh, uh, there's something else I should add. Um, I don't know why the hell I didn't think of this earlier. A seaport? Why can't I add this? And also, a car and passenger ferry terminal. Okay, why the hell can't I add this? <laughs> it's not making any sense. How are they going to sail back and forth from the Domino Islands that I built off the record that you guys don't know about? Well, you guys probably seen it, like, in the beginning, where I show the region and everything. I don't know. Eh, Hope Springs Eternal. I don't know why the fuck I just said that, but get over it. That's actually a song from uh, that from that 2004 Disney Channel movie, Stuck in the Suburbs. I feel like I'm stuck in the suburbs, but I wouldn't want to be stuck anywhere else. Well, except for the country, actually. Um, yeah, because the country is like really cool and really chill and relaxed, and you got the hot guys with the southerner accents. <laughs> okay, enough of that. I know you guys are tired of hearing that. Like that one homophobe who disliked my video. I, was, eh, I shouldn't be mad about that. I should just disable the like feature. That's what I should do. Oh yeah, um, I remember there was this uh, video that leaked out of Charlie Sheen. Um, he was having sex with this like prostitute guy in a hotel in Las Vegas back in the year 2011. They said that the sex tape leaked out. Well, technically it actually did not leak out at all, because no matter how hard I looked online, I could not find it. It pisses me off when people tell, uh, say stuff that isn't true, really. Because I seriously cannot find it for the life of me. That was back in 2016, however. 
I should try looking again. It probably leaked out by now. <laughs> I'm glad none of you. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Not gonna say that. Not gonna say that. <laughs> okay. So this place should be building up. What the hell? Did I just hear a crash? Okay, a random boat just floating there. They want more commercial lots. I'll just throw in a whole bunch of wind turbines just to take up space. And another water pump. You know how handy those are. Alright, population 25,991. Smoking! Building up? Yeah, yeah, but I hope no forest fires start now that I think of it. <laughs> Alright, can't build an avenue under the damn highway. Um, can I build it here? No, I can't. Shit. Okay, I can build it here. I mean, good enough, I guess. There's seriously no place I can... You're kidding. I don't care. I was watching the Young Turks earlier. I'm not sure if you guys uh, know about that, but uh, it's like this. Um, it's like this news channel on YouTube. It's hosted by. Uh, I cannot remember. God damn it! I can't remember the main guy's name. The guy who's from Turkey. Um, but I do remember his like co-host Anna Kasparian. And there's more people on it, too. Like, there's this comedian guy who's really sexy, by the way. And, um, <laughs> there's also this, uh, one lesbian girl who reminds me of a really cool version of my adoptive sister, except she's not a bitch at all. And, uh, <laughs> and also, um, well, I meant my, I, I meant the lesbian girl on Young Turks is not a bitch at all. That's what I meant. Um, and also, um, there's this woman, there's this Asian woman who reminds me of the Yellow Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, like, whenever I see her on there, I just wait for her to, like, pull out a Power Morther, Morpher and go, like, Sabertooth Tiger! and to morph into the Yellow Ranger, and like to fight all the bad guys, and then Rita Repulsa watching all over them, going like, Oh, they foiled me again! Get me an aspirin! I have such a headache! I should have never adopted Joe Wanko! <laughs> uh, I don't even feel like explaining that joke. If you don't get it, you're too slow. <laughs> I shouldn't be calling anyone slow. I'm the one that is. Uh, I shouldn't say that about myself. Whatever. Yeah, I've been slow at making my Sims 2 scary videos. I, I haven't really felt like making those. That's what it is. Um, I think the reason why is because I, I just haven't felt motivated. That's what it is. And plus, finding the voice actors is so hard. 
I know there's a lot of people who want to help out, but it's just that a lot of the voice actors, I mean, some of the people who, like, really do want to help out, um, their microphones are all, like, fuzzy and everything, and I'm like, oh, I can't use this, I can't understand it well enough. And then I feel bad, because they want to help out, but, uh, oh, they want to build another statue. Oh, and they want to build a deluxe police station. Sure, let's throw that in. Um, so, population... 30,603. God damn it, why did the hell did it build a road there? I mean, not that it built a road there, but why did the hell did it have the arrows pointing that way? Ugh, this game annoys me. So much for artificial intelligence. Oh yeah, the Young Turks, they also... Alright, oh, didn't want to build a wind turbine there, so I'll just tear it down. They also did a news story about a robot that committed suicide. <laughs> well, the robot didn't... Okay, technically what happened was the robot was, like, uh, driving through this hotel, and then it accidentally fell off the hotel balcony and it broke. There was also another robot that uh, ran over a boy's leg and injured him. That, that would suck, being hurt by a robot. Sheesh. Well, it's happened before, electrocution. But still, in that manner, I mean, robots are supposed to be cool and helping people, not hurting them. I th keep thinking of that movie with that uh, Will Smith guy. Uh, I think it's called iRobot, and uh, they have the evil computer program named Vicky. And she was all angry and everything, and that also reminded me of the Vicky from Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> I loved Fairly Odd Parents. That show was actually really funny. Um, so, population 30,776. Okay, so, you know, that's... Let me see this... Oh, God, and we still... Look at all this damn space we have. God, you could... You could literally spend all of eternity playing this game. You know that, right? Um... <laughs> I think it's funny, but... Wow. Let me build a ramp. I mean, like a connection to there. And, uh... Let me build a road going through here. Uh, I can't go build a road going through there. God damn it. Alright, let me just tear that down. Thank God for the money trees. Uh, well, simoleon trees. What I, well, I know you can call it money trees. Uh, money defines everything. I mean, defines all the terms, pesos, euros, shit like that, dollars. Alright, I'm just gonna save this game right here, and I'm gonna end this part of the playthrough here, so yeah, thanks so much to everyone who watched. So yeah, don't forget to answer the trivia question at the end, so you can become the mayor of my next city in the United States of Joe Winko. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's it. So, peace out, people. This episode's trivia question. What terminal illness was Gwen diagnosed with in Joe Winko's 2012 Sims 2 horror movie? The Pepper Tree. Answer this question in the comments. The first person to comment the correct answer 
will be crowned the mayor in my next city of the United States of Joe Winko. Please also mention the name you want to be listed as. Remember, you must use the same name at all times. That is it. Peace out, people. Also, just for the record, that whole rule that I said earlier about you can't own the surrounding cities around a city you already own, or al I mean already became the mayor of, yeah, that rule doesn't apply anymore, so um, yeah, don't worry about that at all. I, w I just added that rule in to encourage more people to play, really, but I really hope you guys still participate anyway in answering the trivia questions, right, so I could list you as the mayor. So, um, yeah, have fun.